Hey guys, Shock of God has managed to demonstrate his intellectual cunning and relentless ability to search for facts yet again. This is one of his latest videos called Study Shows Major Weakness in Atheism. Take a look. Everybody, um, I want to bring to your attention a study done by the Pew Forum on Religion and Public Life, and it was titled Instances of the Weakness of Individuals' Attachment to Atheism Through Secularistic Upbringing. And Thanks. By the glaring typo on this page, you might guess that Shock's source is not Wikipedia, and you'd be right. Shock has far higher standards than that biased liberal pile of bull, as instead opted for that reliable font of wisdom, Conservapedia. If you've never heard of it, check out the link at the sidebar. Trust me, the article on dinosaurs is really worth a look. Let's continue. Look what it says. It says, according to the recent research, a majority of those surveyed who were raised in atheist or agnostic households or where there was no specific religious attachment later chose to join a religious faith. In addition, as noted earlier in atheistic communist China, because you know communist has a official atheist state government, Christianity is experiencing explosive growth. On July 3rd, 2005, the New York Times reported concerning many countries in the former Soviet Union Union, a return to religion in Romania and the region's other formerly communist countries has in many places outrun the speed at which the church can screen and train clergy. So atheism seems to be dying on the vine. Right, let's pause it there, shall we? Now, I'm not going to talk about what's happening in China or the connection between atheism and communism. I really want to focus on the first quote that he talked about, namely that, during, according to a study, that people who start out as atheists end up not being atheists. Hence, atheism is dying on the vine. Now, although Conservapedia is clearly as balanced as a set of scales wearing a feather against a large hadron collider, they still manage to make their editors cite their sources. So let's have a look at the source of this intriguing information. Now, I'll be honest, I was expecting a survey run by a church group with all the scientific integrity of Ray Comfort and his pet crocoduck, but that's not actually what I found. Now, this is the research from the Pew Research Center, uh, the links in the sidebar, and it's pretty good. It collected data by interviewing over 35,500 subjects, which, although obviously can't be viewed as giving a definitive picture of the habits of all Americans, nevertheless acts as a pretty decent indicator. But let's actually look at the figures. Firstly, the group that is described in the survey performed by the center is denoted as unaffiliated. Shock seems to equate this almost directly with atheism, if you look at the title of his video and the title of the Conservapedia article. However, this actually breaks down into three categories. Once you look at the actual figures, we see that only 7.3% of the survey group grew up in unaffiliated households. Of those 7.3%, and actually that's quite a large number when you consider the amount of people involved, only 0.5% identified as atheist. Less than 0.3% were identified as agnostic, and the rest, which is a massive 6.6% of the entire people surveyed by the survey, identified as growing up in households where they worshipped nothing in particular. The article Shock quoted got its information from a summary of some of the study's findings, which reads, The landscape survey reveals that the unaffiliated have one of the lowest retention rates of any of the major religious groups, with most people who were raised unaffiliated now belonging to one religion or another. Now, from this, both Conservapedia and Shock seem to have taken it that atheism is dying on the vine. But this isn't talking about atheists. These are people who, in their majority, just don't identify with a specific religion. It says absolutely nothing regarding whether they believe in any sort of god or not. The data doesn't show people turning towards god, let alone Shock's personal congealed wad of Old Testament hatred, but shows undecided, and once again according to the survey summary, quite spiritual people exploring different religions. Furthermore, let's take a look at the paragraph that precedes the quote on which Shock and Conservapedia base so much. The category of people who are unaffiliated with any particular religion has grown more rapidly than any other religious group in recent decades. 
According to the 2007 Landscape Survey, 16% of American adults say they are currently unaffiliated with any particular religion, compared with only 7% who are raised unaffiliated. If we look at the net gain of the unaffiliated group, we see a net increase of 9% of the net American population losing their religion to indifference or even atheism. What's even more interesting is the reasons that these 9% give for giving up their religion. About half of those who become affili unaffiliated say that they became unaffiliated, at least in part, because they think of religious people as hypocritical, judgmental, or insincere. Large numbers also say that they became unaffiliated because they think that religious organizations focus too much on rules and not enough on spirituality. Shock, here's a lowdown. Firstly, even if your reading of the statistics was correct and atheism was dying across the world, it wouldn't prove anything about the veracity of theism, let alone the truth of your personal religion. Secondly, even if it did, by some collapse of the laws of logical inference, the evidence from the source you quoted simply doesn't support you. Thirdly, it appears that half the time it's people like those found in your narrow-minded brand of Christianity that turn people away from the Lord, your God. Finally, next time you make a video, do some actual research rather than taking a single passage on the internet at face value. Thanks.